Hi there, this is John Alexo from ProSectorials and in this video I'm going to talk about the newest feature that YouTube has implemented which is called the end screens and at this point you can no longer use the annotations inside of your videos and actually I was quite surprised yesterday because I haven't published a video for about two weeks and yesterday I published a new video and I just realized that they have completely removed annotations even though I already knew that this would change in May but I just forgot about it and in this video I'm going to explain how you can use the end screen feature and also what I like about this feature and also what I dislike so let's get started <laughs> Yeah, so let's see how you can use this new end screen feature. So for you to assess it on one of your videos, what you do is you click on your avatar and once you click on your avatar, you go to Creator Studio. And then you select a specific video that you want to alter. In this case, it's this video that I have over here just for testing purposes. And I just click on Edit. And in this page, you can see that you have this option called End Screen Annotations. It still says Annotations, even though you can no longer use it. So you just click on it. And you can see that once I go to Annotations, you have this message saying that it ended in May 2. So let's go to End Screen and see how this works. Okay, so this is the... Over here, you can see that you have a rectangle. That is, this is the area where you can insert elements. So you don't have the full video screen where basically you cannot insert elements outside of this box over here. So that's something that is, it's a bit annoying. Also the elements, as you can see below, you have a timeline. And the elements, the maximum time that they can have is 25 seconds. And they can only appear in the ending of your video. Also, you have this option called View. And I just leave all of this option selected because it allows me to basically reposition the elements more easily inside of this box over here. But you can select one and basically remove them. But I just leave them all. The other option that you have is Use Template. And once you click on it, you can see that you have uh, a couple of pre-made templates which you can just click on and easily use it on your video. So let's select this first one. So I just click on it and press select. I can, you can see that I immediately have, in this case, two elements appearing. I have this first element which is my subscribe button which is this button over here, which honestly, this is not very visible. Then you have over here, this second element, which allows me to either integrate a video or a playlist. And for you to integrate a video or a playlist, you just double click on this element. And once you do, you can see that you can choose a video that you have inside of your listing, or you can select a playlist. For you to do that, you just click on the playlist that you want to appear. And once you do that, you just press save. And you can see that I immediately have over here. I immediately have over here a playlist appearing. And if you want to get a better idea of how this looks like in the ending of your video, you can select this option over here that says preview. If you enjoyed the video. So you can also receive more weekly video updates where I talk about internet. So, so this gives you an idea of how other people will be able to see the ending of your video. Also, you can see that you have the timeline over here. And I only have two elements at this point. And you can select the element that you want to edit. You can see that the maximum time that it has is 25 seconds. And you can basically reduce the timing depending on what you want to the minimum time of five seconds. So this is the minimum time that your element can have. The other thing that you can do is you can also click on this import from video. And this allows you to import a end screen from 
another video that you have. For you to remove the elements, you just select them and you can see that you have this small pen or pencil and you just click on it. And you can just select this garbage can and it immediately removes the element from appearing on your screen. Yeah, so for you to add elements that you want, you just click on this blue button that says add elements and you have these four options over here. You can add a video or playlist which you already saw, a subscribe button, a channel, you can promote another channel and also a link to an approved website. So these are the only options that you have at the moment. So I'm going to select let's say a subscribe button and I just press create and you can see that this is my subscribe button. I can add a video if I want or even several videos just by basically doing what I, I've showed to you previously and create a new element and this allows me to add a video and you can see that once I click on my on my video I can basically reposition anywhere I want inside of this box so I cannot reposition it outside of this box and you can see that it, once it overs one of the elements you can see that it gets red meaning that it doesn't allow you to do this so let's insert another video over here let's see this one and now let's just reposition this something like this okay and let's just insert another element let's say to promote another person channel or even a let's do just this one and let's say to pro tutorials not sure if you can do this No, it doesn't allow me to do this, but you get the idea. You can promote another person channel using this element. Okay, so that's basically how you can use the elements inside of your YouTube video. And now I'm going to talk about what I like about this new system and what I don't like. What I like about this new system is it's really easy for you to add elements to the ending of your video and you don't you no longer need to create a like a different ending using I use, I use Camtasia but I used to create a new ending using Camtasia and using elements it just turns everything far far easier now what I don't like about this is first you can only integrate this option in the ending of your video you just can't integrate in the last 25 seconds of your video so you cannot put uh, like before you could put annotations in the middle of your video or in the beginning of your video you can no longer do that for that you can use cards which is not exactly the same thing the second thing I don't like about this is that you can only integrate four elements maximum so this is the maximum amount that you can integrate in the ending of your video and the other thing, the third thing that I don't like is you really don't have many elements. Also, the the subscribe option that you have is just not very visible. I mean, this is not very visible. People just, I mean, if I do a preview, you enjoy the video, so you can also receive. More you can see that this is how someone will be able to see it inside of my video, but more. they didn't actually need to over it with, with your mouse to be able to see that this is a subscribe button. It's just not very visible. And when it comes to a call to action, which is basically a subscribe button, the more visible, the bolder that it is, the better, and the more clicks you will get to to in this case to people to subscribe to your channel. So those are the things that I don't like. Hopefully uh, they will integrate more elements and uh, I would like they actually give you an option to integrate a, a customized subscribe button because this option is just not very good. But the rest I really like. I mean it's really easy for you to do. It just doesn't take so much time for you to do it inside of a program like Camtasia and so on. Okay, so that is all for this video. I hope you enjoy. Uh, please leave a comment if you have any question related to this video. 
or leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can receive my weekly video updates where I talk about WordPress and internet marketing. Stay there, stay tuned with Pro Tutorials, and bye!